Hello everyone, this is Grayshot117 uh, with Ciaz, and right now in the north we got Troid and Tar Nation as OKW and Austere respectively. Uh, going a standard build with Pioneers and MG with uh, Stern Pioneers and Volks. Ciaz, uh, what do we have down south? Down south, we have two absolutely legendary players in their own right teaming up for this tournament. We have Von Aston representing the Soviets, locking in tried and true armored assault tactics, and his partner, Helping Hans, playing the Brit. Already, I'm seeing a very interesting move by Von Aston. He went with spy, Special Rifle Company or Command. So, uh, yep. we're going to see a scout car gonna... or sniper? Uh, definitely a sniper first. Hmm. Potentially a scout car eventually, although he's against Austere on this side. So it depends on if they're going to play more like two 1v1s or if they're going to do more team play type stuff. Yeah. Now, he does, the good news is he Von Aston does have radio, so they can they know what the Germans will be deploying. So Troy and Tarnation don't have the element of surprise that they probably would like to. Yeah, it's so important having that radio intercept uh, when you're going sniper first. You always know if there's a counter sniper. You always know when the 2-2-2 two, two, two comes out. Yeah, and you can reposition your forces to take advantage of that. But yeah, you're right. Sniper being deployed while engineers are going to grab some territory. No battles yet, or at least no consistent battles. Maybe a shot here and there. Oh, wait. Our sniper is on the field. All right. Yeah, so far just Volks and Sturm for Troy. Tarnation, same thing. Wait, he's building some cover by the points. Makes sense, makes sense. A lot of people are building down either barbed wire or cover early on. You want to gain that advantage, however you can. And some good cover, absolutely vital for keeping the enemy at a disadvantage. Uh, speaking of which, we well, Universal Carrier is currently being made by Hans. Oh, oh no. And Tardation's making a sniper. Oh. I wonder if Tardation, he must suspect, right? Because he hasn't seen any cons yet. Yep. He probably knows Von Aston as a player and what he likes to do. But see, Von Aston's going to know that Tarnation has a sniper. Yeah, bad again. Tarnation definitely knows because he's already on hold. Fight. <laughs> yeah. All oh, snipers out of position. Oh, he just got in position. Oh, I'm, I'm assuming he knows that there's an enemy up on the field. Oh, conscripts have been deployed now. Universal carriers in mid trying to hold back the Volks and Sturm from pushing up forward, but they're probably going to grab that building. Wait. Oh, okay. I got worried for there. Oh, snipers within range of each other. Mm -hmm. Gren's pushing up. Bond needs to start moving. Yep, very wisely. So he needs to start getting a sniper into a better position to not get caught out. Volk squad going. The Grens push too, uh, too far up. Yeah. Uh, Universal Carrier upgrade with the, uh, an MG, so that oh, will. Oh no, Aston Sniper? Retreat! Get out! Aston Sniper? No! What are you doing, Tarnation? Oh my god. Tarnation definitely could have gotten that dude. He definitely could have. There was a period of like three seconds where Aston Sniper was just sitting out of cover doing nothing. Yeah, he so far hasn't moved, and, but. Yeah, Tarnation didn't react. That, and that's like one of those vital moments where it's like, it's a small mistake, but that sniper could become the bane of the axis. So you really need to pay attention to those little battles. Unless maybe he didn't have line of sight, but I, I don't know. I think he did. I, I love Tarnation being like, yeah, I'm going to deploy the sniper elsewhere away from, uh, sorry. Uh, Von Aston's moving away from Tarnation sniper to ho hopefully help the, against these Volk squads and hit the Grandiers in mid. Yeah, it was a really good spot right there to play around. Because every time he shoots, he can move behind the train car, which is a shot. Ball. Yeah. Absolutely. gives a, It gives an incredibly small window for the enemy team to really counter right back. But, um, meanwhile, a droid has gotten a lot of Volk squads up, and they're getting a, quite a bit of territory. They're grabbing mid. Looks like the allies are having a bit of trouble on the left. Well, Grandier's fighting out of cover to try to stop the decap. Actually, no, they're not even on the point. Conscripts aren't even capping. Yeah, I think they were a second ago. Like, there's two con models dead in the circle. From yeah. that snap. So they were both playing the foot in the circle game, but Axis ended up winning. Yeah, flamethrower going to mid, probably to counter any unit that goes into the building. Give a nice flame burst to it. 
Uh, looks like they'll get double cap on munitions right now, but allies will still hold one fuel point, which is very vital. Let's see. Any light armor being deployed by any faction? No. We do have tier two Ooh. being deployed. Von Aston sniper is in a really bad spot. Oh, they're gonna oh make it pay! Gosh. Oh, that retreat! Rip. Rip. Hans blocked him. That UC actually just killed Von Aston sniper. He's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I like, was if you saw him. the sniper model ran into the UC, pause, started running up towards the German lines. Yeah. Yep. He might try to go for some payback. Universal Carrier opening fire on the MG. Has a good amount of damage. We'll probably do it. Because it's not heavy cover. Uh, gets up to vet one at the very least, but a lot of Volk squads hiding behind that building right now. So Von Astin's started the game not going too well for him. If he chooses to rebuild a sniper, he's not going to have to contend with the 2-2-2 and the Austere sniper. Plus, he really needs to get the T-70 out. Uh, he probably won't even have the manpower for both the T-70 and the sniper. Yeah. AEC is being deployed, but uh, and also helping Hans did upgrade to five-man squads to kind of help him out. The sniper will be at least a little less effective because there's so many men in the squad now. 2 2 is in mid. The Universal Carrier is charging. Unsure why. Oh, 2 2 is giving chase. Are there any mines over here? No, but the, the truck took not. some of the shots. So it's going to be a dead UC. I mean, Tarnation can just sit in Hans's base for now. Oh, I guess the AEC is really close. Yeah, great dive. Wait, did Hans just lose a section? Yeah, he did. did he, he, lost. Four? He, he lost okay. it. I think it was on the right. Yeah, yikes. Well, really seen... bad start for allies. Yeah, AC's on the field, but that's a fantastic push by the Exus, allowing them to capture the fuel and a lot of critical points on the far right side. So even though Von Aston's pushing left, really all the Axis need to do is Tarnation's forces just kind of push over slightly and they'll probably be able to hold uh, that little Soviet assault. Yeah, I think you just dogpile this bottom fuel. Oh, Puma! I didn't even realize. Gets a good shot on the AC on the right-hand side. And AC is pulling back. He's going to need some repair crew. Yeah, so Von Aston's T-70 is kind of countered even before it hits the field. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't know what you would do necessarily. Like, again, we've seen, uh, like previously, some great T-70 play. Wait. Oh, yeah. We've seen some great T-70 play. Uh, and also hold their own against a Puma, but you're gonna really need to do like a, a team effort with the AEC in order to take it down. Yeah, absolutely. So the T70 is wisely going to the left. They know the Puma is on the right. Yep. Trying to pop shots at the retreating Grenadier squad. Two, 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 also retreating, but that T70 does not care. He's trying to hit that infantry. Yeah. Needs to get his sweeper up if he wants to be uh, do anything too spicy. Yeah. Right now, Germans doing very well with their overall population, having a, near almost twice as much infantry on the field compared to the Allies. So, or population, I should say. Oh, Von Assen's going another sniper. He's gonna try to counter snipe. Yeah, he'll have the element of surprise. I think Tarnation thinks Von Assen has another sniper though. Cause he's just been sitting on hold fire, only eight kills. Yeah, it's, mm. Just one of those things, it's like, what's what's the plan? Like, are, 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 do you think that the enemy's the point of their sniper? I mean, I mean he, must he must assume that. It'd be nice if they locked in Jaeger armor and recon once they had some meat. Man, that would be the first time we saw that doctrine today. Yeah. Crazy. Oh, Puma going after the T-70. Uh, no hits it by any T-grenade. with the snare. Nice. So at least the Puma can't dive anymore. Oh wait, you, we say this sniper's actually going after the Brit infantry on the right now. So Hans is gonna have a bit of trouble there. What's this MG? Covering uh, that whole big area in mid. Oh my nice god. There. You wait, uh, look by the- shoot the sniper. 
They could. Also, look on the left by the EC. You're going to see a ton of mines on the field by the Soviets. There's at least four oh, yeah. mines. Von Aston is always great about mining. So that's good. If he tries to dive his position, that could be incredibly impactful to try to hold him oh, back. for sure. Let's see. Two on the road. Four in total if you double click the mine. I don't know where the other two are, but yeah. Yep. So, really great job there. Uh, Puma trying to put additional damage, trying to remove that cover. AC coming on in. Hit the Volk squad in mid. Oh, Troid has a shoe mine right by his Puma. What? You have to be careful with that. His Puma was sitting oh. like on top of the shoe mine. There's an AT gun pushing up. But he's safe what now, the? but that could also be an important mine. Alright. Aw, oh, damn it. The six pounder missed the shot against the Puma. AC trying to get a shot, but. Not able to connect. Neither is the Pumas. Oh wait, Conscript's pushing mid. Do we have a backup uh, AT gun? I don't. I don't see anything. They do hit the two two two, but they're not enough to do any major damage. Sniper though is moving on in. It's revealed itself. Listen, sniper going for the shot. Is revealed. Oh dude, that was such a ballsy play. It worked he though. He just freaking ran up out of cover. And said, you know what? I'm gonna kill you. By the way, Tarnation immediately like, I'm getting another sniper. No way am I taking that. No way. Yeah, that was like the most disgustingly ballsy counter snipe I've seen in a tournament, I think. Yeah. But it paid like, he off. Died to the LM yeah, he could have died to the LMG Grendo was there. He could have gotten sniped. Huge push on Hans's fresh mortar pit. It's not enough though. T70 providing excellent cover. Wearing down the infantry, Royal Engineers doing well close range against them as well. Sirs so are low. in big trouble. T70 is going after him. Taking shots. So far missing, but I don't see any major AT stopping him. And he'll pull back for but safety. He, he probably figures there's mines. And he needs this T70 to live. No, absolutely. Um, but hey, you know what? Uh, right now, population wise, it's dead even on both sides. Does anyone. Oh, wait. Oh, someone died on the minefield. I don't know what. Unless it was the, the mortar that hit it. Oh, yeah. The mortar's hitting the minefield. Yep. And you can't sweep with a sweeper. Sweep with whatever you have, I guess. Yep. It's cons. The Tarnation gets a good grenade off on the cons on the left. That doesn't even go for it. thought he might go for one of those retreat nades. I don't know if you saw, but the mortar actually hit the, the mine and detonated on the scout car hurting it. I do see that the scout car is lower health here. <laughs> oh no. Ooh, Hansa sections got caught building a sandbag. They're actually still in some trouble. Yeah. Oh! They hit the mine down to one mob. He'll lose it, but at least he did some damage against the Volk. There. Smoke. Oh, nice Making smoke cover. Yep, I think that saved it. Well played, Hans. Nice, nice job. No, he loses it anyway. Oh, Ponzer. Oh, damn it. And the now the AEC is in trouble because the Puma and all the infantry right there charging the six pounder. Oh, no. Troid is taking this opportunity. He's doing a massive push. MG set up. And a quick deployment to hold back the blob. And it does work. One squad retreats. Another one's going in for incendiary on the mortar pit. It'll probably just harden. Oh, not he able gets, to do it. Yeah, now that squad's in a lot of trouble. Super low health has some red cover. T70. No, Hans, why are you chasing, man? Sections have such bad accuracy. You should never chase with them. But bad accuracy when they're moving, I should say. Yeah, it's a little better now, but still not great. Oh. Yeah. Like, it's still the worst moving accuracy in the game, right? Yeah, MG as far as I know, anyway. Yeah, right now it looks like, though, Von Aston's having a little trouble. Grandier's pushing his MG back on the left VP. But at least Hans didn't come... Like, it, it could have been bad for Hans if that if he, if he that MG wasn't set up. Because, oh god, if he loses AEC, that could be huge. Yeah, he could eventually lost the AEC and the Mortar Pit. Alright. So, how, what are the Germans looking at? We do have a Panzer headquarters that has been actually fully upgraded by Troid. And Tarnation has Battle Phase 2 in development. And if he makes the building, he probably will have enough to deploy some armor. Oh, these Volt. They're so dead. Yep. 
That's a nice little win. Oh, for sure. Oh, and Hans, I guess, is like, you know what? I'll deal with the armor. Valentine on the field. He's also diving the uh, boom. Boom needs to smoke or something, man. Oh, it <laughs> missed. Missing all of its shots, though. T70 going after it as well. 222 is coming on in. Come on. Oh, oh two, 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 the heck was the shot. The 222 just ate that shot. Good dive. That, I don't know if that was on purpose or not, but if that was on purpose, that was so well played by Tarni. He's like diving in front of his ally. I'll take the bullet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one quick note, Von Essen has to worry that Recon's uh, giving his sniper away, so if he can't push up all that much. Yep, very, very wise. Oh, Valentine though, putting pressure on the Volks in mid. Definitely something you don't want to see. Oh, AT gun actually, I think Pack gun missed and actually hit the six pounder. Oh, it might have just been trying to kill the six pounder. Right? Oh, that's also true. Dang it. <laughs> Aston's Maxim's probably. Wow, Tynation treated that grin really early. Yeah. And also, VP point wise, it's very close. Population wise, very close. Oh, Mortar in mid! Grandier's down to no. very low health. Thank you. Those cons from Von Aston, though, getting lit up by the Sterns. Probably will die if I have to make the assumption. No Valentine coming for the save. A nice Mortar Pit hitting them on the retreat as well. How many kills that thing have? 11 kills. Probably half of those were from that one hit. Yeah. Just a ago. Wait, we have a half track being deployed on the left. That's a little ballsy. Uh, I don't, yeah. I mean, he probably wanted to get it to shoot the recon down. I don't think he wanted it to charge in. Like, it'll live. Luckily, the, the T70's there, but still, that, that could have been bad. Has to be careful with this T70, though. Armor piercing grounds, pack guns positioned. Why is it in fire? There we go. That's gonna, oh no. Oh. He gambled and lost. Oh, unfortunate. T70 was doing so well. That's a loss for the allies. Yeah, that's huge. The bet three T70 late game is so powerful. Just guarding the flanks and spawning for you. Yeah, now we have a lot of Volk squads pouring in the mid with a Puma right behind. Valentine and AEC there with the MG. So I don't think they're going to gain much infantry ground because I think the armor will protect the Puma from getting too close and smoking it. Right now. Yeah, right now we got, oh, Von Aston having to deal with a small push on left. Grenade going off right on the MG. Oh no. Oh, so low. Well, still six total model kills. Yeah. Plus forcing the MG off. I would say that's definitely worth it. Mortar pits getting pushed. Hans, oh, that was a misplay there. He pre-braced before the incendiary was out. Yeah. Which means now Troid can walk up and as soon as the brace ends, actually get an incendiary on it. Tarnation not using his M uh, his uh, Panzerfaust on the Valentine. I think he's waiting for that mortar pit. Maybe I'll launch some attacks on it. That might be, I, mm. or maybe it was just didn't fire. I'm unsure. Oh, Puma died on the right. Six pounder okay. got it. Oh wait, no, that's nice. not right. Oh, maybe yeah, a mine right. or something. I see the flame. Must have been a mine because the six pounder does not have a kill. Oh, sniper Troy on the left. Could... Yeah. Sorry. He could also re um, incendiary. Yep. This might be a dead mortar pit. They're keeping it he alive. Needs shoot the, he needs to shoot the. Yep, there he goes. I'll say shoot the guys repairing. British, they were coming on in. They pushed back the Volks. And with an inch, like with like 15% health, the mortar pit is holding strong. Yeah, unfortunately, Troy got a little bit antsy on the first incendiary nade, and he threw it before the brace was. Yeah, I will say this: good job on Hans upgrading a lot of his infantry. They are incredibly powerful right now, and that's keeping the uh, Troids and Tarnations infantry at bay, which is why he's able to win some of those fights. So good. Ken, we have a lot of armor pushing right, but if Ken Murphy's getting a position. Six pounders as well, preparing themselves. 
Oh. Oh. We're gonna have the first big boy on the battlefield. Check out what Troy is building. Going with a panther? That seems a. I mean, look, it will it will definitely have superiority over the Valentine and also against the what's it called? Excuse me, and the AEC. But still, I mean, like with a it, look, the Brits have two six pounders. They're not out of the woods yeah, yet. Yeah, but. I think that's why he's getting a panther, because the P4s are, like, really bad against six-pounders. Oh, no, I agree. You know what I'm actually surprised about? Hey, Tro hey, hey, Troy, just saying. Can we get Goliath, please? Just one? Just one. Just one. This sniper is in a really bad spot. Like, he's standing so close to that. They're both together. <sighs> oh, it's... Wait, no. no that's the, that was just British infantry. Oh, my God. Is Tarnation going to pull a recon? Oh no, Von Essen's gonna shoot! Can he get behind the bush? He does, he does, he does, he does. Good Ooh. micro on Von Essen's part. Von Essen with the uh, guts of steel. No, he's out of cover though. Can Tarnation see? Nah, the bush is protecting him. The, the Soviet yeah, bush. Right, right. The true sight is protecting him, yep. Yep. I'm watching Tarnation's fog of war now. <laughs> Oh, he can see it. He can see it. He's going in. Oh, he went for it, but no, it got got around the corner. Oh. God, it's like a game of chicken with these snipers. Yeah. All right, half track has been deployed for AA coverage. That's fantastic. I think that's a really good move to make sure that the axes no longer get their A get their recon coverage. Brits bringing down yeah, artillery definitely. to hold them back, keeping the point under their control. And this house at max, I'm not suppressing anything. There were so many squads right there. Yeah. Oh, Stuka bomb. bomb. It's going after the He's mortar. The Come on, Harden. He's not bracing. Brace. Oh, there he goes. Just in time. Oh, he hurt his own man. It hit the, the Soviet mine or some mine and it blew up the Volk squad. It's so low. Unintentional, but hilarious. Yeah, exactly. They do destroy that building, though, which has been kind of a pain. Like, yeah, the MG is sitting in there constantly protecting them. They should know Brace is down. I wonder why the Panther doesn't um, shift over. Yeah. Oh, Got Sniper. Tarnation can see it. Von Essen retreats and the Sniper shot misses. Oh, that's the first miss on retreat I think we've seen today. Yeah. Very lucky. RNG gods are in Von Essen's favor. But unfortunately, now he has to fight a Panzer IV and a Vet 3222 with a recon sight, so we can probably see what Von Aston has at his disposal. So he really has to watch out for that. Yeah, P4 finds a flank on the Zis because of the 222. Helping Hans battling for mid. Panther coming on in, but the six pounders are keeping it at bay. Maxim gets decrewed over on the left by Grenz and the P4. Is this is really out of position. These grunts are probably gonna take it down. Oh god. Oh well, the IS2 is here to save the day. Papa Stalin has deployed a mighty IS2 to the field. Can it, I mean the Panzer IV will absolutely need to retreat. He does yeah. Unless he gets lucky, there's no way that thing can fight it. And I don't see any teller mines on the field. Oh my god, IS2's charging the Panzer IV. Misses shot though. IS2 missing, who would have thought? Yep. Meanwhile, sniper. Gets knocked out, Von Aston Sniper is taken out by Tarnation Z over with his conscript blob. Talatori uh Ura chasing it down. Two. May try to get revenge. Oh my god, yes. Panzer Gadir slowed it down. Missed the shot though. This IS2 has to be really careful though. Sturmovic strike inbound against the infantry, that'll suppress him. Possibly hit him on the mines. He might even hit the mines, yeah. Just we were thinking the same thing. 222 could shoot it down pretty quick though. That third, he needs to keep that 222 alive now. Yep, Ice 2 though going after it. Hold on. Oh, hits the Grand Ears instead. And again, so far not really any rocket artillery in this game. So there you go. You don't need it to win. Yeah. They got one of the planes. The 222 did. That's coming in on the Grand Ears though in mid, suppressing them. Yeah, he got the other plane. He's got to get out of there, though. Yep. 
Oh, we have a comet being deployed. Helping. Okay, so I was wondering, like, what are the allies doing? What's Hans and Von Aston doing? They're, like, saving up for heavy armor. That could have cost them. But some good micro on the infantry part kept them in the fight long enough for them to get the fuel to bring out the heavier armored units. Yeah, they're going to be kind of in trouble soon, though. Yep. Um, heavy Panzer Corps. Wait. Oh, no, dude. He didn't finish it. What do you mean it's he didn't finish it? It's almost... Look, in his base. In Tarnation's base, it's oh, like 90% no. construct. He could have an elephant on the field right now. <laughs> oh, that oh, sucks. Did he even notice? I don't think he does. Oh, no. Tarnation. That's a good need call that out. elephant right now. You know what? He doesn't have a pioneer squad. Uh, okay, now it's he going does. after it. He just deployed one. He does, there. Oh, no, I'm sorry. You're right. He did. What the hell? What is he doing? Yeah, he had to have just forgotten about it. Anyway, uh, Zis 3 hitting the MG and the, uh, the pack gun all grouped up together. Trying to force yeah. them back, but they just repositioned. IS2 Instantly calls in the elephant right when that T4 was. Yep. Rifle grenade misses the AT. Me, we, oh, me. rip con. Oh, that's P4 a... just had a brutal shot on cons on the left. Von Aston is down with a lot of his frontline units. And population Super wise. shot coming in on right. Well dodged. Well dodged by Hans. Elephant's in mid now. He's got to be careful. He's getting really close to a mine. Is he going to hit the mine? Hans has a comet, right? Yeah. Oh, oh my god. No. Oh. IS2 and the Comet could flank it. Blood in the water. Do they go after the target? No. Doesn't look like it. Are they the Concentration Barrage isn't available yet. And also, remember, Sector Assault is available. So they can call in a lot of uh, anti-armor planes to kind of cover it if need be. Ooh, that could have been that could have been the game right there. If that elephant yeah. died before it even did anything. But it's gain heals. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Wait, did you see that? Yeah, I saw it. I don't think that the squad did, though. Oh, well, they might have seen it about one second before they all died. <laughs> the last thing the levers. Hey, Hans, what's that? Boom. And then so funny. There's Hans' luck for the day. Oh. Hey. Well, that's one less unit, I guess. The, the, the oh, enemy's on. JLI, too. Von Asti needs to rapidly redeploy his anti- Oh no, it's already over there, so he can shoot down the planes immediately. Yep. One's down, I think. Oh. Uh. Other one's down. Oh no! Oh it's my it's god, it's he got the kill! What the heck is this RNG? Troy is losing a- t Oh my god. He lost two squads to plane crashes. There's still one on the field. Let's make it three. Come on. Yeah, let's get the sniper this time. Concentration Barrage is active. They could go after the elephant or mid in general, but looks like they're going after something else. Unsure. That Maxim's danger close to a mine right now. No, it is. No. Oh. oh, it's coming on the MG on right. It's another unit. Troy Na oh, Troy Nation loses the MG. Or Troy, sorry. Troy loses the MG. My fault. It's on right. Troy, man. He has not had a good two minutes. No, absolutely not. Suka's firing. Suka is firing. It... I'm with the two shit. It's going to go on the cat. Will he get the kill, though, is the question. Oh, it's low. Oh, oh, oh. No kill, but damage indeed. Elephant's looking the wrong way. Can't finish off the comet. I'm, yeah, sorry, Chad. I combined Troid and Tar Nation to make Troid Nation. My apologies. I like I like Troid Nation. That should be their team name. Yeah, Troid Nation and Tar Nation. No, uh, it's Troid and Tar Nation that are part of Troid Nation. Yes. Troy Nation. Oh, yeah. See, there we go. That's their, yeah. Yeah, their team name. I like that. Thanks for the cover. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah. I mean, allies, I mean, call it luck of the RNG gods or, wh or whatever. But they managed to hold on to all the, all mid. They have a triple cap now right now with the VPs. And the VPs overall are incredibly close, so this game is far from over. Cervix right coming right. on the left. More RNG planes coming in. What's well, gonna die this time? <laughs> God. What? 
All right. Uh, bra I think of something's barraging the uh, Schwerer HQ. Plane crash actually missed everything this time. Yep. Uh, Almost this killed. Yeah. All right, both planes are dead. Both missed, unfortunately. Yeah, well, you know, the, the infantry on the ground don't have to worry f for now. But uh, the elephant got hit with the Zis. Uh, the Grandiers are trying to stop that from happening. But IS-2, still pretty damn good health. Could probably push him back. Also, MG, decently positioned, going to suppress him. Snipers in mid, though, firing on the British infantry trying to push forward. That's a bit of an issue. Panther got a good hit from the Comet. Real Engineers coming on in. AC still alive. Is the Caddy... Should he get that pack, it looks like? Oh, get some Grandiers as well. And I assume... Oh, he's going to be able to snare, snare the Elephant. Really? Mm -hmm. Yep, those Cons got it. Oh, the he Elephant's did. I'm sorry. Indeed. Stuka firing on right. Probably against the support equipment. Uh, will miss. Elephant. This comet. Oh no no the Valentine I mean the Valentine's diving. Is it he's really? He's trying to go for the yeah 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 he's trying to go for the stupid Troids moving this stupid the wrong way. Come on! Way. Oh he's outpacing the. Oh he got shot on the rear armor of the Panther. Come on one last shot. The T4. For all the marbles. You have to stay behind the T4. Ah. Uh, well micro there by Troy. That was a tense moment. Could this is pushing up on the elephant though. That's getting repaired. Could eat two shots, one from the Zis and one from the IS2. Those pipe oh, could uh, be in trouble. Yeah. Oh no. This okay, is the IS2. Both shots penetrate. Double shot on the elephant. He's holding fire to get out without being shot again. Looks like he's making it through. God, this is only game one. This is great. <laughs> Holy so macro. Close. This is definitely the closest game we've cast today. Like, no. either team win from here, for sure. Both are really close in population. Both have gotten great hits on the other one, whether intentional or not. Ugh. And now it's just a question of VPs. Right now, the allies holding... That pretty much under their control. They're also deploying flares, helping Hans, helping out as, as his team by allowing them to see a lot of the frontline positions. I would really like to see Von Aston get a T-34-76. Um, ram the elephant and Hans call already on it, like while they push it with AT guns and stuff. Yeah. Oh, another Katusha, a little far forward though. Not able to do a ton of damage versus the infantry that's pushing on to the mid VP. British infantry gonna hold, have to hold the line by themselves. They do have pyrotechnics available, but he went comet, so they won't have the ability for the airburst shells. Yeah, he's just gonna want to save. Um... Oh, he, he is throwing him. He's also concentration barraging something. Mid, he's trying to keep them back. Did the sniper? No, sniper made it. Okay. But oh, he was just pyrotechnics. Concentration for Russian. One quick note though, Troy does lost a lot of his men. Look at the infantry. Hans just threw his AC away, I assume trying to dive the Stuka. Yeah. This is fine, like he needs pop cap anyway, so no big deal. He's getting himself a comet. I mean, that's a little yep. risky. A firefly might be a little better versing this armor, but you know what? If he wants to dominate the infantry, comet's not a bad way to go. Well, he needs the mobility of the comet to get around the elephant. Oh, yeah, fair point. He also doesn't necessarily have a ton of munitions in right now, so although that rocket strafe, which could pin it, probably can't get used it for a while. Yeah, exactly. And plus, I mean, like, if it gets rammed or something, or just snared, he can concentration barrage it for the same muni, which yep. might do more than, like, rockets. Small little push against Han's forces on right. But Tarnation Z and stuff like that aren't charging into a six pounder and a comet. He, they're just gonna hold on to their fuel. Oh, what? You oh. know what? Unless Han saves. Um, well, I guess he could concentration barrage a howitzer, couldn't he? Yeah, he could. I was thinking if he builds a howitzer. Oh, Grenadiers! So low. Can he get the final shot on target? Nope, it escapes. 
Mass Panther, Panther as well. What is it doing? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Thing is so dead, dude. Hans with the execution by double comet. Katusha trying to hit the retreat path, but missing target, I believe. Unless it's gonna hit the or, the AT. Nope. You probably mostly want to push that rack up. Okay, now we have a problem. We have the elephant in position to hit a lot of that armor from behind. Panzer IV, though, <laughs> definitely can't win that fight. Pulling on back. Do we have any AT in the region? I don't see anything. And it gets KO'd. Oh, wait, no, it's alive. Pack in elephant moving in to counter oh the comet. Gosh, the comet missed the shot, too. Come on, drop down the coordination fire on it. That might be he doesn't a have the munis. Yeah, he does. Or no, he can do it from his infantry that's right next to the elephant. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Wait, no, comet, comet go for the dive! The elephant. Oh, this and the Hans Stuka's the right there. Watch. No, stay near the elephant, too. What are you doing, Hans? Why don't you stay near? Oh, He's going for the Stuka. But the Panzer Grenadiers are right there. They might kill it. Oh, and the elephant dies from the eyes, too. Yeah. Oh, no main gun, Comet. Rack is right over there. I don't think the Rack's going to get it, though. He has another Rack that he could redeploy. Hans' second Comet needs to come in. Yep, smoke shot. Nice, beautiful Hans, beautiful. Again, for can uh, AT, can't see unless he directs fire. Not able to. We have a Tarnation deploying the remaining bits of his infantry to try to stop that Panther's retreat, I'm sorry, Comet's retreat, but it's not enough and they'll make it out. I was really worried when he was driving away from the elephant that was gonna cause him to miss the shot because of being like far away. Yeah. No, definitely. Katusha now hitting the infantry. And oh, this IS-2, dude. He needs to keep pushing up with those Shreks. Hans with another smoke shot. Is it going to be enough? He's still charging. Really Come He's on. Try to push. He can push him. He's oh, going to ram. Oh, Hans. Hans, you're on fire, dude. You just saved the IS-2. Holy God. Very good play by Hans all together, saving his units and his allies. Good teamwork there. Double AT, though, are pushing on in. He's, he's going to need infantry support to hold them back, but I think they just realized. And overall, Troid and Tarnation Z might be a little crippled, but they're not done yet. We have actually two Panthers deployed by each of the players. And, and they... Um, another elephant. Oh, he's going for the dive. No! IS-2 is already oh, no, back no, up to no, half no. health. It's too late for a dive. Nice shot. Is this three hitting the panther side? Right now just front armor hits though. Another panther being hit, chased by the comet. Everything's penetrating. Yeah, I was going to say the comet's penetrating this time. Yeah. What was that Hans meme? Every shot is penetrating. <laughs> Uh, what, well, uh, Panther needs some repairs. Uh, unfortunately, though, no ATs can move into mid right now. Oh, actually, no, they are moving into mid. Nice. Just lower health, but that's fine. Uh, we look at pain our Pgren blobs. Oh, okay, they're trying to get Panzer Shrex. Doesn't do much to the IS-2. IS-2 is probably going to return fire. Down to one model! Now we have recon, but it's going to be shot down. They, that needs a mine on right. Bet two, IS two, dueling it out with the Panther. Suka comes in, knocks out the Vickers and Mortar Pit. Allies on the offensive. Not enough for air pushing strikes. up, getting some more shots in on the Panther. Comet Caddy shotgunning some Gren. Oh, Comet That's lost. Really out of position. Comet got sniped by. A Rakettenwerfer at uh, Vet 2. Pack decreed in mid getting destroyed by the Ziz. Good play right there. Aston has a T3485 added to the mix. Might do a little bit of a base inspection. Try to take out that 222, but the Panther is going to say, Hello, buddy. Stay <laughs> away from my friend that's map hacking for me. Yeah. 
no, and he'll pull back. Again, really good use right there. Troid almost has enough munitions for sector assault, so they might be able to make a big push on mid once they get their Panthers. Yeah. I really think Troid should invest in the repair truck. They're really hurting for repairs, right? They now. have it. Oh. <laughs> it's yes, healing they... the scout car. Oh, I couldn't see it because the little old dudes were behind the scout cars. You oh, okay. Correct. You're fine. You're... Yeah, the little dudes were hiding from me. Yeah. That's, uh, you know. Uh, it's, it's unfortunately sometimes with the camera, we can't see sometimes what's going on. It's like, oh, well, sometimes you need another angle for things. Uh, yeah. Meanwhile, we do have some of Tarnation's forces. Looks like prepping to go after the IS-2. Stuka's firing. Where's it going to hit, though? Mrs. Aston dodged it very well. Yeah, good dodge on his part. Katusha's are almost prepped and ready to fire. And look. Vaughn. Roombear's out to try to help deal with these AT gun. First shot does so much damage. This IS-2 is mad, though. Does he have infantry support? Rampage. He has some. Fire the shots. Uh, some bounces, some decent yep, hits. Here comes Sector Assault. That's probably not where he wanted to use it, but he has to save the Brumbar. They might get the T-3045. That will be a nice little win right there. Come on. Yep, maybe the next path. Oh, he gets out of the circle, though, so as long as it didn't lock on. I don't know. Plane crash mid-ish. Two, I, no, I don't know oh, what. Oh, dude. I that saw that. That could have killed both of those Pigrens. Holy cow. Did, did the German Air Force just, like, say, no, we're going to take out our own men? They they screwed us Apparently. over in this fight. We have 50 points remaining. But here's the thing. Even though the Axis are, you know, they have some good units and doing some good plays, it's do or die right now because they need those VPs. Yeah, they're going to spend so long repairing now. I mean, the... 2-2-2's two, two, at half, Troid's Panther's very low, Broombear's low, Tarnation's just finishing up repairing his Panther. Yeah, it's uh, very close right now, very close indeed. Holy crap, a lot of Comets now opening fire on target, really good shots right there. Oh, nice white phosphorus, wait is that, yeah that's white phosphorus. I was gonna say, wait yep. no it's a smoke shell. Another plane crash. Almost hitting the Comet oh, no, this time, this comet. am I crazy? Am I crazy? Was that way Foster? Yeah, it's way Foster. That's what am I saying? Yeah, it was. This broom bear is in so much trouble. Bounce. Oh, doesn't bounce that one. Nice flank. Panther trying to put tar uh, shots on target. Nice kill with the uh, AT, but alas, it's not going to be enough. They need at least two VP points, and they just won't get it. And that's it. Oh, that was... That was... Uh, <laughs> That was a decisive game for helping Hans's comets and a lot of his infantry. Holy mackerel! Yeah, those planes though. How I want to see how many kills did this AA half track end with? Eleven vehicles destroyed. Yeah, for, for those who don't know or just tuning on in, this thing shot down planes so much it crashed into uh, Troy's Volk squads and killed them. What, what was the first unit it killed? Uh, JLI. So within a span of 30 yeah. seconds, he lost the JLI to a plane, and then a Volk to a plane, and then an MG to Hans's barrage. The Brit, um, what is it called? Concentration barrage. Yeah. Hon so we had 16 planes shot down that game between the 222 and the AA half. Yeah, for those who like wondering like how much of an impact, they probably killed as many men as Von Aston's rocket artillery. To put in perspective, just the planes. So, pretty close because the caddy only had 11 kills. Yeah, planes had nine at least. Yeah, that's I was gonna say. I think they may have gotten a, a model here and there. Um, but yeah, uh, looking at damage, oh, oh boy, helping Hans von Aston neck and neck. But H Hans gets a small lead with 300 damage over Aston and kills wise as well, about 161 kills. Positive KD, uh, for Hans, uh, von Aston still giving a decent KD. Uh, although we definitely saw him lose conscripts early on. 
That, that was probably the biggest thing was Von Aston losing his frontline men early on. Then the IS-2 just pops out and says, what's up? <laughs> yeah, that and the snipers that he lost. That was really brutal for him early game. Yeah. But he managed to kind of uh, help out. Again, I would say helping Hans coming in really definitely helped, uh, especially with flanking the elephant, knocking out the, or trying to knock out the Stuka so many times. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he had the two dive attempts. He lost both of his units, but it was like no big deal. He had the resources to replace them, and it meant he could get another comet on the field, which was very decisive when it came to killing the Panther and the P4 over on the right. And the elephant, too. So yeah, those comets put in so much work. Uh, for those who are saying Troid's KD, remember, guys, it was actually the German Air Force that actually increased that loss count. So you can't just say it was all allies. It was the, the German Luftwaffe just kamikaze at least nine models. So, <laughs> uh, But yeah, um, overall, still good game. Uh, yeah, great sniper play. I have to give it up to both sides, but definitely the edge goes to Tarnation. Um, but yeah, some, some overall really good game and helping odds coming in with the clutch and getting that armor toward the end. You messaging me yesterday saying you're two hours behind. I'm like, oh, please don't tell me it starts at seven. And then I'm like... <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to wake up earlier. Yeah. I don't know. Time zones are hard, and then people do daylight savings time, and some people don't. And it just gets complicated. Yeah. But speaking of tough things, we'll see how our competitors do currently in this round, as both of these teams are incredibly tough opponents on bo for both the Axis and Allies, or at least that's what they'll bring. We got Helping Hans right now, and by the way, I'm Grayshell17. Uh, he is going OKW. And we got Von Aston going with the austere already going pioneer mg grenadier while we got volks in sturm for the okw see as what are the allies bringing to the table we have a long-standing team that we just dubbed troy nation so it's troyd and tar nation troyd is playing the soviets bringing out a bunch of conscripts so far tar nation playing brit oh yeah and we'll see already sturm pioneers are like yeah, we're just going to block. We're, we're going to block the house with those traps and, and capt capturing the point. Now, I will say, Tarnation Z and Troid are down. They need to win this game to keep themselves inside the qualification round. At the very least, get themselves up to the semifinals. But, uh, last round, helping Hans von Aston came in with a clutch toward the middle of the game. We'll see how Tarnation and Troid do this round. Oh, wow. Von Aston already go with German Infantry Doctrine, so see some really good Grand Ears coming onto the table soon. Yeah, as long as he can maintain control of the munitions. He's baiting Troyd into this machine gun. That could be a huge blunder. Maybe the MG couldn't shoot them because of those. Yeah, the bush is blocking them. That could have been three suppressed squads, which would, would have meant that Von Aston could cap the entire left hand. Oh, real quick. Thank you, Lieutenant, for getting your guys in here. Thank you so very much. All right. Lieutenant currently opening fire. Uh, Grandier is very low on health. Luckily, a second squad coming on in. Now it looks like the attention on those conscripts is actually going against Hans right now. Yeah, I think Troid realizes, hey, I don't want this MG to reposition and force my entire army off. I can come in, have a big flank on two-thirds of Hans' army is off the field. 100% of Hans' army is off the field. Great flank from Troid. You can probably push these Grens off and cap that cutoff as well. Yeah. Now again, looks like the Pioneer might go in for the allied munitions. But same thing could be said about the German fuel. Conscripts are just pouring on in. Grandiers have to fall on back. But MG is suppressing them right now. Yeah, he could crawl out of the range. He'll probably still get the decap either. Yeah. Question, does he have actually sight lines on it? Oh, oh barely. Now he does. Well, he still gets a decap, so that's nice. Well, British in cover. Making to put his, yep, put his foot in the circle, prevent the decap. I think the section still win that, though. It's going to be close. Volk Squad might edge him out. And yeah, they're going to have to retreat. Yeah, Tarnation doesn't want to take any risk. Khan's had a bunch of infantry coming back on the field. And yeah, Universal Carriers on the field trying to do what it can with that MG upgrade. And again, or just for those who don't know, it does have suppression. So if we see a good chunk of infantry coming out, he could use try to suppress them. And stop a flank from occurring. 
Yeah, even without that, it just does so much damage. Up to two kills already. Yeah. Han's taking a lot of lo uh, model losses early on. He does have four squads out, though, of, of Volks in one Sturm. So he's looking pretty good in that in that way. Meanwhile, Tarnation Z just trying to keep his British infantry on the front. You know, so Carrier coming on over, though, to hit Han's on flank on the allied fuel. I think Han's might get the decap. Yeah, I'm watching the left-hand side, too. Yeah. Where's that MG? Oh, it repositioned itself to mid. Yeah. Yep. Tried with a massive push on left. So flame Probably uh, push those Grins out with the Flamer, right? Yeah. Yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll do what he can. Uh, the flamethrower, especially uh, against those Grenadiers, would be very good. But unfortunately, he has... Well, he could go cover here, but might block his sight. He might just not want to have to deal with these. Like, okay, there could be more forces coming on in. I'll just capture th that main capture point in mid. Or in the far l left mid. Yep, sometimes it's better just to get the territory under your control than push too far. And then have to retreat without having capped anything. Yep, uh, Universal Carrier coming on in. Uh, come on, can it fight off those Volk? They're very low. Allies need to grab that VP. Actually, a lot, a lot. I forgot to write down the VP count. I definitely should have done that after last. I think it was, it was. Any, anybody could have won last game. I think it was 256 to one, if I recall correctly. Or zero, because they went to zero. <laughs> right. Sounds about right. Yeah. I can go back to the VOD. True, true. Tarnation section that was building a sandbag. He didn't cancel that very quickly. It took so much damage. Mechanized being developed. 222 is now on the field. And is going straight for mid. A large blob is actually in mid. All grouped together. Do we, we don't have a Vickers, though. We do have five man infantry squads. Cindy going off. Can he react? Coming in. He's not reacting. He doesn't. Taking so much damage, man. 222 is charging right into the middle of Tarnation's territory. Yeah, it's looking for that UC. He's already deployed it back to base. Oh, wait. We do have Tier 3 going up for the Soviets. Do they have enough? Oh, it's going to be another minute or two. But he might rush yeah. for a T-70. Should be exactly one minute from now that he can build it, unless he can change. Yep. Uh, right now... 222 is putting pressure on Tarnation Z. He's absolutely going to need to fall back. AC by Tarnation, though, being developed. Again, it's it's the food chain effect. Yeah, 222 is going to have a pretty tough time in the long run with a T-70 and an AEC on the field. And I imagine it won't be too long before Tarnation gets a six-pounder as well. Oh, don't worry. He has a... Uh, helping Hans is a Puma coming out. So the whole food chain is going to be coming out at one time. We'll have the Universal Carrier, which will be eaten by the 222, which gets eaten by the AEC, which gets eaten by the Puma. Which then gets eaten by the Six Pounder? Yep. Yeah, yeah. And then we're back to square zero? Yep. Pretty much. Actually, hold on. Massive allied assault. We have Bridge Infantry pushing mid. Nice mine gets four that models. Beautiful mine. Delays Troy's assault. Even though uh, Tarnation is capturing a decent uh, mid, we do have another mine on left. Holding back the Grandiers. Nice shot with AC. So that was kind of a little bit of a misplay by Troy. See, he's retreating those slow squad. He yeah. could be capping the VP with them and pushing the fuel with his cons that are currently capping. Like, they weren't in any danger, so you didn't really need to retreat or anything. Yeah, not wrong, I would say. Also, there's a... I mean, just like a little nitpicky thing. Yeah, there's a, un there's a uh, mine that's still be well, it means of being developed right behind the uh, building. So maybe they were trying to get a unit that was coming out. Not a bad idea. T-70's on the field, so you were right about that. Meanwhile, allies are, oh my god, so much barbed wire. They're just putting everything down on the Axis V, uh, I'm sorry, fuel. You know, I've never seen, I've never seen anybody fully barbed wire at a point. I want to see that one. 
You'll probably do like an OKW to do that because honestly, that way it holds off light vehicles as well. Yeah, it would have to be. Yep. It would just take so much time, it's not worth it. Would be interesting though. Meanwhile, we do have Von Aston getting his Grandeer. Some very nice upgrades, having additional man and some additional weaponry to really combat the Brits. Soviets are going to need to upgrade their men somehow. We don't have those awesome rifles from earlier, the SVT ones. But we could see... No, we have no upgrades for him. It's just seven-man squads who have to go. Yeah. Unless um, some weapons start dropping. Puma coming in on the AC. A lot of damage on these engineers. He has to get him out. There's so much firepower. Oh, hit. he's dead. Oh, free flamethrower! Speaking of dropping a weapon. What is this? Uh, oh, God. Um, oh, God. What's the name of the doctrine that gives the Storm Pioneers flamethrowers? First Storm Doctrine? Firestorm Doctrine? Yeah, Firestorm. There we go. Now the folks have and one. do you remember when the EZA Doctrine gave Rifleman flamethrower? What's, I like to block out those key moments in life. <laughs> yeah. Nice incendiary pushes back the British infantry. T-70 trying to put some shots on target, but the, the train car is blocking it. Puma, though, is coming in for a counterattack on him. 222 as well, hitting the conscripts in near mid. Pack Gun's also backing them both up. So, and now Von Essen has all of his Grandiers fully upgraded. Oh, that's going to be a tough force to fight. Those really, like, clean battle lines right now across the middle section of the map. Yeah. Oh, right. We have a triple grand ear threat going after the conscript in heavy cover. Universal Carrier might be their only chance to hold back that, those squads. Yeah, does he have suppression pop? He does. Yeah, it's suppressing yeah, him. Nice. Packing 222 coming at it, though. There is a uh, Zis, but it's redeploying itself. It could use artillery. T-70 as well, moving on in. Lot of action. Not a lot of kills though. Missed the shots on the 222. Pack is now firing on the T70. Everybody's missing. <laughs> Can anyone hit? Now everyone's drunk? Okay. Everybody's just stormtroopers in this game. <laughs> that's, that's a way better comparison. Thank you. Grand Ears, while they're uh, keeping the point for, uh, away from allied hands, they're dead. Oh! They're giving sight. And allow you the universal see carrier that to the pack. Yep. Brits are fully pushed off the right by Han. That uh, flamethrower coming in huge. This flamethrower bolt. Yep, doing a really, really good job there. Easily pushing a lot of the al uh, ally forces back and grabbing the middle v or middle points and also the right VP, which is going to triple cap against the allies. Already severely down VP points. They Tarnation Z and Troy are, need to do something. Let's see. What do they got at their disposal? No tier four. No company. Hans is uh, getting a Stuka. That's on the field. Von Aston. Battle phase two. Tried making a big push on the left. Should get the at least that VP under his control, but man. Von Essen instantly shuts it down with that machine. Yeah, very well positioned. Grandier's gonna have to worry about that T-70. But pa Patkun misses again! Suka shot coming in on Troy. Only one model? Two models, I guess? Yeah. Oh, I just realized that Tarnation Z has a sniper. Oh, he's been plugging away. Up to five. He hasn't been out for very long. No, he is not. Let's see. Right now, they're just trying to hold. There is an at maximum, but it's Valentine out of range. Out. The Valentine instantly hits a mine. Good, a good use of mines right there by Hans. Uh, where's that Puma? So he was gonna push the Puma, I think, with the Valentine and the AC, but then the Valentine hit the mine. But the Puma also chose to pull back since the AC was right there. Yeah. Hans using the flamethrower Volks along with normal Volks decaps a very critical point, cutting off the allies' fuel. So that will delay their armor a little bit. 
Uh, Troy that's... brought in some guards, though, to help yeah. keep these light vehicles at bay, so that'll be a good call in from him. It'll be, it's something. It's something. They're still doing very well population-wise. They're, they're neck and neck with helping Hans of Von Aston, but they need to get a good kill. They need to do a decisive moment, because right now... I'm seeing a lot more action done from the Axis. Actually, though, this might be it. British decapping the Axis fuel. So that's something, at least. Yeah, they need to find a way to get this MG out of mid as well. Yeah. The sniper needs to start taking shots, or he needs to call in the barrage. British hits a mine on retreat. Grenz and Volks and Sturmo Mai are trying to shoot it down. They probably won't get the kill, but they'll definitely bring its health down a, a bit. The could be lit up uh, all the infantry are together. Do we have grenades? We do. Ah, uh, he's gonna fall back. Puma's right behind the Grenz and Volks on the right hand side. Keeping the huge axis push actually on both sides as well. Von Aston's completely pushing Troy off of left. No, good work there. AC coming on in. Not sure what it's going to do against the Grenz and Volks right there. They both have a... have a... there, though. Oh, I just realized. Hans doesn't have enough munitions for a Panzerfaust. Yeah, so we Hans's can't... Puma is just being so annoying right now. Just coming in, popping a shot, pulling really nice, solid micro. Hits AC. He does have Muni for a Faust now, though. Good. This needs to reposition. It's not going to be in time. Oh, sniper need to do crit shot. Now the Valentine could get... No, Hans has no Muni now. For, for another a second. But the Rack hits it. The Neither Puma side's hits. able to finish each other off. Puma might. Puma's... He's going for it, but he could get snared. He could. Oh, he absolutely out, could be. Out. Yeah. Allies keeping their yeah, fuel under. So tense. Yeah, they're holding the point, but for how long can they do this? Hans needs to be way more active with this stupid though. Okay, as I say that, he's shooting. <laughs> he heard you through the through the through yeah. the cast. Oh really wow! Nice shot there, really, really good. It's a lot of. It's like six Tommy models. That's a lot of manpower. Yeah, no, that's a, that's good, and especially hitting him on the retreat, that's very good, uh, precision right there. British hang, oh, Airburst coming on in, knocking out the, uh, MG down to one model. British continuing their assault, Tarnation Z using this to grab the capture point and VP. Meanwhile, we have a small push on left, Soviets though holding the line, what they got, with what they got. Mortar pit coming up in that same spot that Hans built one last. Yeah, a, not bad idea to weaken down the infantry. Yeah, it's a pretty difficult spot to push, but Hans, those flamethrower volks could uh, do a lot of work against it. Oh, build! They got up and they braced it. Build, brace, repair. Pack's trying to fire, but there's too much there. Enemy causing trouble. Try to take one of our points. Meanwhile, we got a uh, Volk squad fighting a Brit. That's gonna the Volks will lose. In the mid, we have another Volk squad trying to decap, but the Valentine's not letting him go. Will take without a fight. What are the? Finally, pa all right. Panzer headquarters being built by Hans. Von Aston's going with tier 4 heavy Panzer Corp, so we could see like a Panzerwerfer or a Panther on the field. Yeah, I think a Panther would be a good first call, depending on what the allies are looking like, but Troid is creeping closer to the ISU. He still has to put up T4, though. but I mean, we're still pretty far from that. Yeah, I'm watching Tarnation Sniper because it's so dangerously close. The Volk Squads are chasing after it. Valentine's trying to stop him, but it keeps missing. Faust. Is the Puma nearby? Yep, Puma's coming up. It's gonna land the Faust. The engineers need to get a snare on that Puma. Oh! I saw dude, that. Dude, that's Duka shot! 
heck of a snipe or a shot with the Stuka. Knocks out a lot of the Soviet infantry. And the T70. That was nine, eight infantry kills plus the T70, I think. Unless something else got the T70 kill. Yeah, no. Good job oh, with the smoke. The pack. From the Valentine blocking the sight. So the Puma and the Verkenmurfer has a hard time hitting the mortar pit. They have to direct fire. And there's so much cover there. They're just going to hit a lot of that. Allies are desperately trying to defend this mortar pit. Concentration barrage coming down. That could be a super dead recap. Guard troops buttoning the Puma. Can they get the kill though? Nope. Smoke's going out. Come on. Ah, uh, so far no good kills. I Germany. Think these flamer Volks are gonna finish that mortar pit off. Do you think he's regretting giving him the flamethrower now? <laughs> oh, definitely, dude. Those Volks have been so key in so many pushes. Yeah. Well, the Valentine's... Oh, Brumbar's in mid. Backed by a pack. British gonna need some support, but they have no six-pounders. Yeah, that losing the mortar pit was a lot of manpower down the drain, and he's been bleeding pretty hard in general. All right, so Tarnation can deploy some armor soon. He can go with a Kramo or maybe save another minute or two for a Firefly. That might be what he has to do. Soviets finally deploying their mechanized armor, Campania. They are close to an ISU-152, but it's still going to have to be a bit of a save. Now, we saw last time the Allies saved up, and they were able to, you know, get out their armor and hold. I... I question if the Allies can continue to hold against this overwhelming German presence in this round, though. If they can make it to the ISU, I th think they have a good shot. The big thing they still need is the beep. Yeah, I IL-2 bomb strike. Not sure what they were targeting, but it, I think it missed completely. There's he no dead infantry. He wanted to hit the T4, I think. But I feel like he wanted to hit the T4 and just totally misplaced it. Yeah. I don't think a bomb would one-shot the T4, though, anyway. No, it won't. It'll bring it down a good like chunk. It does a lot, yeah, but I don't think it one-shot. All right, Concentration Barrage coming in on the right VP. Left one that Brumbar is trying to watch over, but there is guards in the Zis 3 keeping them at bay. Once again, those Flamer Volks pushing in, just forcing everything out of cover. Brits out of cover are not that good. They're a little weaker, but that said, if we see here, Volk Squad very low. Brits at least hold that position for the time being. Uh, they still the helping Han still has some good support units, so he's gonna have to get through that somehow. Okay. They just have to find a way to hold the mid BP, but there's what three MGs on the Axis side right now. Yeah, Tarnation and Troy are just slowly being starved, and right now they're down by almost. I think it's a yeah, they're a third. There's three times as many VP points for helping Hans and Von Aston. They've done a very good job of keeping... Oh, wait, we have a push! In mid. Uh, yeah, they've done a very good job of doing stuff like this, which just keeps the allies at bay and unable to take any points. Yeah, these this guns are... In, at least that one is in big... And it's gone. Yep. That might allow the Brumbar to move on in. It, here it comes. Frag bombs? Is he going to know what it is? Please don't move your sniper into them. Oh. It. Rip. Yeah, there goes the British infantry section. Is he going to stuke at the base now to try to get the sniper? I'm watching the base. Oh, it's, it's on the support weapons. Okay, not bad idea. It does miss a bit. Right now, they only have one guard troops holding against two grenadier squads, both with a ton of kills. Over 30 some kills combined. Ooh, Puma almost attacked ground side AC. Sniper's in a ton of trouble on red cover. Somehow makes it. Grindeers are trying to chase it down for a kill. Very low on health. He's back at base. He might be able to actually shoot the Grindeer squad and be fine. Yeah, he does. Can you kill the Grens? Come on! Oh, he Guess does. Who's back? Flamethrower Volk. They lost the 222 going in on left. Another frag bomb coming on in. Misses the AT guns and the sniper. Enemy threatening a 
Yeah, point. but importantly, um, the Axis are holding a triple cap. Yep. Here's the thing, Troids though. Troids can almost get the ISU, but they do not have much time on the clock. They do not. He'll need to not use any more manpower on anything, and he'll be able to get it out. The question is, can it have that big of an impact in such a short period of time for him to take the territory? Oh, that British sniper. Oh, no, it's so low. If you sneeze on it, it's going to die. Desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> and they are truly the desperate measures because, yeah, there's... Oh, if, if anything hits them, they, they could fall apart real easy. Yeah, single stray bullet. Rumbard. Aston putting his foot in the circle on the top VP says, No, sir, you are not capping. Hans and I are going to move on to the semis. Ice 152 on the field. But Stuka shot coming in. Almost catches those retreating con. Really good attempt. Hans has a Panther out now going on an absolute rampage. Firefly being developed. Valentine. Uh. Yeah. Oh, no, no, it's time to panic. Luckily, doubles this and... Oh, great shot by the IC-152. Pushes back the Command Panther. Not expecting that. No, there's just not enough time, though. They have, what, 30 seconds of life left? Nothing even remotely close enough to cap. Yeah, and they have a flank. Right now, there's a Brumbar coming in. Uh, hopefully stops the... No? Maybe not. Pioneers yeah, are actually MG's going in. watching mid and right VP. They have feet in the circle on the top of each. They can't even concentration barrage the MG off of mid. No, they have to use the ICU on 5 2. Not bad idea with the smoke, but the ICU on 5 2 needs to load armor piercing. Train car takes the shot. Them with the smoke. 10 points remaining. Valentine's dead. Yeah, that's it, my friend. Hans and Von Aston are moving on to the semifinals 2 0 over Troy Nation. Yeah, no, that was. I. It, here's the thing last game, we saw Hans and Von Aston do a very similar thing where they saved up for heavier equipment. I think in this situation, though, they didn't, uh, unlike last one, in the last game, helping Hans and Von Aston had the infantry superiority. I, I think they did a lot better with their infantry. Uh, compared to this time, you have Von Aston. Look at these Grens. Like, they're just so many kills. Doing so well. Did he yeah. lose any of them? Hold on. Let me check. He I lost none. I don't think so, yeah. Maybe lost one Pyo that whole game or something. Yeah. No German frontline infantry was lost during the entirety of that game. So, uh, so OKW and uh, austere infantry dominated British and Soviet. It wasn't even a contest. So, w without that domination, you don't have the leverage to get the resources to pump out the heavy stuff quicker. Which is what helping Hans and Von Aston did. Instead, you saw more of dragging out the heavy armor a lot slower, which it just came in way too late to have an impact. Von Aston's early game was like so much better this game as well. His early game in game one was really. Yeah. Um, that, that being said, also give some credit. Like again, good job on having a vet three sniper for the Brits for Tarnation. Uh, Troy had yep. some good guard play and some conscript play. Um, but yeah, that's really, I mean like it's just unfortunately just slowly falling back. But uh, damage-wise, for those sorry, go ahead. Flamer Volks, yeah, uh, had more kills than any other Volk squad. Unsurprisingly, that's hilarious. <laughs> I think they had the most kills out of anything. Um, on Hans. Oh, okay. Hans's Stuka beat them by one kill. Nice. Like that's uh, that was such an impactful moment getting that flamethrower. Yeah, who knew? Uh, simply giving the Germans a flamethrower would turn the tide. <laughs> Uh, yeah, who knew flamethrower would be good on frontline infantry? Yeah, that thing was so good. Anyway, uh, also, again, also, good job keeping the Puma alive and constantly just harassing the Valentine and the AC. Just really great micro in that regard. Yeah. Dude, Hans, he's in chat now. 
some of your micro in game one was ridiculous, man. So well played. Yep. But Grand Ears, they got a total of 71 kills. British only got 43, and they lost some units. Conscripts got 54, and they lost some units. But yeah, really good game, guys. Really good game. Hello, Tarnation. We heard you on stream. Yes. Again, great game, guys. We saw your first set, and this game, again, really great plays all around. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Troy got wrecked by planes, though. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Jesus. I lost, what, two squads to play my own planes on that one match? Like, Yeah. We were, we were watching were that. going kind of nuts about it. We There was, what, yeah. 18 or 17 plane crashes in that game total? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yep. yeah it was ridiculous. We thought we were doing really well in that match. We were like, yeah, we're just doing everything right. Uh, you know, pushing when we can, uh, wait until they exhaust themselves, taking ground, and then, like, planes in the face. <laughs> the RNG <laughs> gods are not in your favor. That the, funny, the funny thing is, is that Troy's not the type to tilt. So when he lost all his units, he was just like, oh, hey, uh, I lost some units. I was totally calm, and I didn't notice that we were losing that hurt on the right side until it was too late. Yeah, no, um, and I, and again, we, we as soon as we were watching that, we're like, okay, but they're still doing well. Like they're still keeping helping Hans up back, and then all of a sudden we just see Hans and uh, them deploy the the heavier armor. We're like, can they really compete? Yeah, this? yeah, that was, that was a difficult situation there. Mm -hmm. Hans the was really good. Yeah, Hans yeah. was really good at the comets. He kept getting in and out and getting tons of damage in. And then eventually we couldn't keep up with reps. And then yeah. you got some good dives in. Yeah. Although he did fail. All his light vehicle fail, uh, dives oh, failed. Oh, the AC. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the AC, the amount of time. And then, but then he was really good at using the comets on the far flank. Um, like you literally went down, drove down the side of the map into the corner and then went in. No, they, uh, they, they had some issues there against the artillery. But we the previous game... That we casted literally mm -hmm. it was just artillery it was panzer werfers it was uh, mattresses just literally firing at each other's bases they killed the infantry like there was almost no oh, armor. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. so as soon as we saw that we're like oh no is this going to devolve into another artillery war on the <laughs> yeah, so no. it was, it was nice fun. that there was like actual tank combat and yeah. not just oh crap we can't keep up with every infantry unit on the field dying to random <laughs> 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 Yeah, uh, it, like we we kind of because the game was so much closer. Like if you went for Artie and you didn't get immediate value out of it, you risked losing. Yeah. So both both sides kind of opted in for the more reliable option right away. By the way, I, uh, and I don't know um, if you guys caught it, but we gave you guys a team name, whether you like it or not. Yeah. Oh, oh no, what is Troy. it? <laughs> team Troy Nation. Ah, oh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that sounds like my Solaris Alliance. <laughs> yeah, here we go. You, you know that's the name of your Discord, right, Trent? I know it is. <laughs> All right. Hans and Von Aston just hopped in as well. Hey! Hey! Good games. Thank you. Good games all around, guys. Yeah. yeah. Surprised planes landed on your guys. I, we didn't even realize that it landed on your troops until I was watching the cars back. I thought, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We thought we were good, good spot at that planes. I was getting stressed out because there are so many plane crashes. Some of them were really close to my base. Like, oh no, not like this. It's like if you won um, uh, a psychological weapon. Yeah. <laughs> and what, what did did kill the sniper? Was it also a plane crash or a katusha? Oh no, it was caddy. It was caddy. You had like a caddy, caddy like firing yeah. at a different unit and I accidentally retreated it into it. Hey. That was a rip. But no, yeah, we were, we started laughing over the plane crash. We're like, Gee, you, man, it's just the Luftwaffe. It, it doesn't like any infantry today. Just kept. <laughs> but uh, also, again, good sniper play back and forth. That was the one thing we were highlighting. Almost every game had like a good sniper battle of them just trying to lock that thing down. Yeah, yeah. Von Essen's really freaking good at avoiding my sniper. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm like, no, no, he's going to be here. And then and then two minutes later, it's like, oh, the sniper's on the other side of the map. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, uh, helping Hans, great play with your comets because, um, in terms of just really pressing against 
uh, Troy Nation's forces because you guys just out, you took out the Panther, you took out the Elephant, you just literally crippled them through and through that first game, which is probably the best game we had. Those yeah. comments were pretty baller, not gonna lie. Yeah, comments were good. I lost one, unfortunately, to... Rick Handwerfer, yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised it, it, every shot penetrated from the front. I thought I'd have a little chance to probably put away there, but that was a shame. But yeah, the... Um, I, I, it? Yeah, it was my Vet 2 one, which the I yeah. think is the one that went around. Yeah, because at one comment, I went in the base and somehow managed to skirt the entire edge of the map and get it back. Um, slightly lucky there, I guess, getting that back, but I had the resources to make a new one, which I did once I lost it. Um... Oh, great smoke. But yeah, I, thanks. I think I could have played better, though. I, my hand, as Von Essen said, game, I should have brought my anti tank guns up with the push when we were killing the, the elephant, uh, the panther, and the stuff. And I didn't bring my anti tank guns up. I was too busy micro my comet. So there's definitely room to improve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I would say the one thing was you kept diving that Stuka in the first game. And uh, that, that Stuka just had like 10 lives because they just dodged shots left and right. <laughs> Oh yeah, the Valentine coming in. I was I was unfortunate oh, yeah. to get, to get the, the kill the, on that. Okay. The ring around the Rosie, <laughs> where the Rosie's the T four. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember seeing that. I was funny. <laughs> unfortunate. All right, but once again, congrats, Hans. Congrats, Von Aston. You'll be moving on. Hello everyone, this is Grayshawn. Before you guys go, I want to give a special shout out to Patreon supporters Malam, Joey, G240, and Tom Bashara. Ion, Pyro Shark, Ace, Jacob, Oswai. Thank you guys so much for your amazing support. You guys rock. This has been Grayshaw17 and his amazing patrons, and I'll see all of you next time.